Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag dishwasher drain hose. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new drain hose. This drain hose is extra long and is used in cases where the drain is too far away from the dishwasher for the standard hose. So you would either be replacing the shorter hose with this one, or if you already have this one, you'd be replacing it because there's a hole in it and you're getting water on the floor. In order to get to the part, we have to pull the dishwasher out. First thing we're going to do is open up the door, and then we can use our Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws. Now that we have the screws out, we can go underneath the cabinet and remove the lines. First thing that we're going to do is remove your dishwasher drain line, follow it up to wherever it goes and remove the clamp. We're going to use a 5 16 on ours. Make sure that when you take these off, that you have some towels around. Both the water line and the drain line might put some water out. Next thing we have to do is remove the fill line. It's usually connected to the hot water tap. And of course, we already had that shut off and the power disconnected from earlier. But now we need to remove the line, and we can take it off with a 5 8 inch wrench. Now that we have the lines disconnected from under the sink, we can come over to the dishwasher and use the door to carefully pull it out. Once you get it started, you can just grab the frame and use that to pull it out the rest of the way. Now that we have the dishwasher pulled out far enough, we have access to the drain hose connection. With the dishwasher out far enough so we have access to the drain line clamp, first thing we're going to do is throw a towel down, catch any water that might come out, and then we're going to grab our pliers and slide this clamp up the drain hose so we can take the other end off. Once you have the clamp out of the way, you can reach in and pull this off. You might have to twist it and turn it kind of get it to come out, but it should come out pretty easily. Once you have it disconnected from the dishwasher, you can carefully pull it out from the cabinet. Once you have the drain hose free of the cabinet, you can pull it away from the dishwasher. Here's the old dishwasher drain hose next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Remember, before you install the new drain hose onto your dishwasher, you have to make sure that the sink end is the right size. These are universal and you can cut down the larger size if you don't need it. So make sure you match up the old one to the new one and trim it if necessary so when you get under the sink it's already ready to go. To put the new drain hose in, all we have to do is reach in underneath the dishwasher and grab the hose fitting with the clamp on it and we can carefully push the new drain hose in all the way so it seats down and then we can grab our pliers and move the clamp up so it seals it and we don't get any leaks. Make sure you put the clamp in between the two lines where it says clamp. Now that we have the clamp in place, we can route the lines through the cabinet. We want to push the dishwasher in about halfway and then go underneath the sink and pull on the hoses to make sure that they're not kinked or caught on anything underneath. We can push it back into the counter. Now that we have the dishwasher all the way in, we can open up the door and use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screws back in that hold it to the countertop. With the screws in, we can go underneath the cabinets and reconnect the lines. So we're going to hook up the water line and use our 5 8 inch wrench to tighten it down. Then we can hook up the drain line back up to the air gap. All you have to do is push it on and tighten down the clamp using your 5 16 nut driver or screwdriver. Now that we have the lines reconnected under the sink, we can close the dishwasher door, plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, 
Facebook, and YouTube.